All right, we're gonna do this in a minute. The parts of lava greets you timidly. Okay. Uh, information on the caravans. Caravans are the lava's favorite mode of transport, says your interlocutor, and they use it to quickly travel between cities and scientific laboratories. Until recently, caravans were even taking them to the centre of the desert, but the frequent dork attacks have forced them to stop that service. Alright. Uh, what if I discuss other things? Talk geography. The lava is amazed at your sense of direction, which is really not as sophisticated as its own. It explains that the planet really isn't so complicated and that it would be difficult to get lost. The mountain region is the only area they have taken the, the trouble to map. Ask for the map. Shit's over there. Alright. Cool. Did I, I guess I've never been in that area. It's the secret of the mountains. You now have all the information you need to get to the laboratory in the Santra of the Labyrinth in the mountains of Yilion. But that's without considering the Akbars in the region who may block your route. But unfortunately, you can't anticipate every eventuality. That's a damn deep game. It's like, all those Akbars like, it's a trap! And, and you're just like, maybe, maybe all of life is a trap and I can't really anticipate anything and plans are futile and um I don't know where I'm going with this one gotta pee I don't know when that's gonna happen oh jeez oh god speaking of the futility of life that's fine okay I want to see if this Akbar goes it went the wrong way oh uh, I see okay Let's see, what happens if I go this way? I should be able to scoot around uh, the Akbar that's to my, like, left over here. I should be able to get in front of it. There we go. I wonder if this thing will actually crush me. Uh, we're saying that they don't have any interest in crushing you, but I have to wonder if that's bullshit. Still, we're gonna, we're gonna have no trouble getting into this lab, so we'll see what the hell's going on in this scientific science science. Laboratory in the mountains. You arrive at the entrance of the scientific laboratory in the mountains. If your master of the Lubba alphabet is adequate, you can go to reception. Go to reception. You meet an old, very alert Lubba at the reception who is remarkably polite. It asks if you have the pass for the laboratory. I don't have a pass. They lead you through a series of corridors before seating you on a bench. After waiting for a good half hour, they call one of the scientists over to explain your situation. Don't worry, it says. That will be long to give you an injection. You are very reassured when a love in a white coat approaches you with a syringe. I'm gonna leave under pressure. Cause I want to see what happen if I decide to go ahead and see if I can get all of the um what what happens if I get the entire Lubba alphabet uh learnt before I decide to try and uh, become a scientific uh, test subject. Discuss this. Okay, he has nothing inf interesting to say. What happens if we go to these guys? Talk science, talk business, talk science. Okay. Cool. So, let's see. The Lubbas hold the artifact. So let's do some of the side quests while I'm here. This is clearly some sort of sanctuary. A very sylvan sanctuary. You approach the sanctuary where a crowd of Kamos have assembled. It looks like a ceremony is about to begin. Taking part in the ceremony would be a good way of integrating with the Kamos. Try to enter. You're about to enter. One of the Kamos stops you and demands to inspect the contents of your bag. You're only allowed to participate and be satisfied with what he finds. Sit down. You don't have... You have... You, you have haven't understood a thing in the ceremony so far. Except it seems to revolve around the concept of death. The Kamos, the, the Kamo that seems to be directing the bizarre proceedings beckons you to put something on the plate in the middle of the sanctuary. Present the bloom skin. Okay, that did a symbol now. Alright, well this is clearly the symbol of death. I've never seen anything more terrifying than an equal sign drawn by somebody who's, um... Uh, I don't know. 
doing math left ways. And that was clearly just the pi symbol, but wrong. Oh my fucking god. Uh, eh. <laughs> I did that bad, stupids. I think that's probably the way that they migrate you, is if you have to take multiple strokes at it. That's what she said. Initiation right. It won't have been easy, but you're now a little more knowledgeable in the language of the Kamos. The, cer the ceremony is conducted just as slowly, and unfortunately for you, the proceedings are particularly soporific. Give me one second here. Uh, S O P R I F I C. Tending to induce drowsiness or sleep. Try to keep awake. Victory! You have survived this infernal ordeal that tested your endurance beyond anything you had anticipated. Your bag is much lighter when you leave, but you do have a better understanding of the Kamo alphabet. I feel like I'm losing my goddamn mind on this one. <laughs> okay, so we have multiple alphabets. We have Lava alphabet and Kamo alphabet. Um, I don't know which one I should prioritize, but I will attempt to learn both. Okay, what if I talk to this guy? Feel confident. Uh, the Kamo religion. One thing's for sure, the Kamos are very proud of their religion. You're listening with half an ear and don't want to appear impolite, but the topic is a question of the roots of life. The original seed and a succession of high priests whose sole achievement is to have officiated at the longest ceremonies possible. Ask for more information. Ultimately, you shouldn't have encouraged it, particularly on the subject of religion. The Kamo now seems unstoppable, and when it eventually finishes its long monologue, you can't remember I think it said. Talk about something else. Mysterious sanctuaries. What happens if I kill this thing and then uh, put its like doodle doodle wangle in the sanctuary? If it's a ceremony of deathens, then this would make a whole lot of sense. Okay, so a bunch of sweepy attacks. Okay, it should be my turn to kill it. Or to attack now. And so it is. One, two, three, four. Snuck that one in. Okay, tree. I don't know how these things are going to attack ever. What the fuck? Well, at least now I can see the, uh, I can see the, I don't know, I can, I can see the, uh, the, the, the victory conditions. So there's the way of the warrior, the way of the diplomat, and the way of the secretions. I guess I'm going to go for the way of the secretions, personally. So let's go with Rutherford, who's, like, uh, well... I don't know. Who do I want to be? Uh, we'll go with we'll go with Rutherford, Mr. Doctor Science, who's literally holding a beaker full of death. Oh, all the way over there. Oh, okay, that won't take too long. Something about this character in particular, I just find super funny. I don't know why, but I just picture his voice being like, well, I don't know. I think I picture his voice being like like an old grandpa talking about like scientific discoveries that haven't been new for like a hundred years. And he's like, well, did you hear about Thomas Edison's new gramophone? It's gonna be a real humdinger it is. That corpse looks familiar. We'll find information and leave with dirty hands. I don't know what I was doing to that corpse. I don't think I want to know what I was doing to that corpse. But 
I got my hands all kinds of goopy. Alright, so I've discovered one secret. I guess I'm gonna try and... I don't know. How do you find secrets aside from just looking around as much as you can? Well, uh... Yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. It's gonna just generally collect a little bit more information on the world by looking around. I've already been into the mountain laboratory, so I'm just gonna swoop south of all this stuff and see if I can find anything interesting in the in the unexplored parts of the map from myself here. I I don't know which sort of priority or which sort of ending I want to prioritize, but it looks like the death ceremonies are one of the victory conditions. And oh, this is a thing. A very sylvan totem. Tree on leg, trees on legs, circle of wooden totem. Now you've seen it all. You're warned that explanatory exotic search. The secrets under the roots. There's some ground to cover, so you'll have to make a decision. Dig around and inside the totem. Move away from the structure and search a little further away. We're gonna dig inside that totem. It's the eye of the mole. You're pretty sure you've walked around this totem 11 times. And you're absolutely certain that you haven't found anything. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing of interest here. Sure, forest as far as the eye can see, but nothing you can put in your bag. All right, I guess I'm gonna talk to the trees here. The camo, you speak to stop circling and is genuinely delighted to engage in conversation with you. Who would have thought that trees were so sociable? Tell me all. After repeating half a dozen times that it really shouldn't tell you, the camo confesses grudgingly and technically from the bottom of its bark. That if you fully master their alphabet, they'll divulge a secret that will allow you to complete your mission on this planet in just one day. Alright. Make conversation. The camo advises you to the various sanctuaries of his people who are able to perfect and master the language. Secrets will then be revealed to you. It adds in a voice full of malice. Alright. I guess I'll go kill the tree that I saw earlier and collect its uh, tree giblets. Put it in the sanctuary. And then um, learn how to speak the language of the trees which is very very interesting if you think about it because it raises a lot of questions as to how school works for these people uh, <laughs> like imagine if you went to elementary school and it's like okay kids time to learn your ABCs uh, we'll start uh, whose first name has an A in it and then the rest of the class had to like just like destroy them in ritualistic uh education combat also i get a gun as this character that is freaking awesome i had no ideas all right so here's the thing oh my fucking god all right well um I'm gonna be Rose, and I'm gonna be Rose, because if I remember, I'm really close to the co- God damn it. I'm all the way over here. Oh. Oh, this is just the worst. I have to walk oh so very far. Oh. If you told me in real life I'd have to walk this far, I'd be like, just kill me now. I can't do it. I have to walk two flights of stairs to get to my office every single day. Two of them. And I could barely manage that. Oh. No. Oh, here. I'm already here. Cool. So, let's go for round three on killing trees. Um. I guess I should have seen my death coming, but it's alright. I'm Rose. I'm ready to kick some ass. I wish that there was a character that had like extra hit point or something maybe Gilbert has it but I don't know I don't actually know what any of the differences are between the characters literally outside of their attacks um, as far as I can tell there actually isn't anything to speak of but I could be wrong I don't know okay let's see if I can handle this okay this looks good oh no leaves fucking 
I'm not some Ralph Waldo Emerson fucking... I can't handle this shit. Okay, we win. This is good combat music. You have defeated your opponent. Alright. Uh, imagine that. You've defeated your first extraterrestrial tree. And exploit that. Unfortunately, it will be hard to explain on your return to Lethus. The only thing left of the camo in any decent state is a branch, which makes an excellent fan. Take my branch and leaf. I didn't say leave. I'm gonna raise the bar on the translation here and offer a bird catcher original joke. Okay, we're gonna enter. We're gonna... Uh, oh, what the hell? I have a death. Oh, right. The camo ceremony says they don't pray for themselves. Wow. Really, what a what a goddamn surprise. The ceremony of the death cult is like, oh, by technicality, we don't worship you killing us. A like, guy don't I'm on to your games. What's in here? Laboratory in the plains. Go to the reception. I don't have a pass. Uh I'm not doing any more laboratory work until I've uh, become a master lover. I'm sorry. It's just it's not in the cards. Okay. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I want to head over to... Okay, first off, that's super interesting looking. I want to head over to uh, the... The... the This. This thing that I'm looking at right over here. So I can send a message back to Lethus. <laughs> Uh, which is a way of like saving my progress so I don't keep losing stuff when I die. Okay, save data. In the name of Shyants, I have transferred data into this bullet. So now what I'm going to do is head over to the desert and we're going to kill one of those um, caravan killery things, whatever they are, and uh, we'll see what happen. I can also go into this thing. Never mind. Oh, okay. Arr! The beast emerges from the dust storm. Its gaping jaws coming dangerously near to your head. It's too late to dodge, and perhaps even too late to avoid being eaten. It has three hearts? Man, it's like Dr. Zoidberg. Okay, I remember this from Sans. Oh, shit, change the things up there. I am attacking. One, two, three, boom. Okay, what you got this time? Oh, that's, those are jaws. He's trying to bite the shit out of me. What the hell? Uh, that was... That was different from what I expected. On the other hand, I guess I've made 100% progress on the way of the diplomat. So, I might be done? I don't know. Like, if I go to the city as the way of the diplomat... Does that mean that I just win? I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, sure, I'm gonna try it, see what happened. I guess I've talked to it. Uh, I like how it's the way of the diplomat when this is the world that I've by far killed the most things on. Well, whatever. Go to reception. Oh, this is a scientific laboratory. I wanna go to the city. The city of, uh, what are the lyrics? In the city, city of, uh, Redlands. Choose your destination. I'm gonna go to the main city. Safe arrival. The active mile trans efficiency of the love of public transport system. At the gates. Get past the guards. The guard stops you. You aren't a lubba, or as he explains, you look so sick that you pose too great a health risk. In other words, you can't come in. Plead exceptional circumstances. He launched into a long tirade and explained that you are, however, a special case. The least you can do is allow you to enter the city. Uh, he's even irritated to hear you speak. Insist. You shall not enter. Oh, well, okay. Let's try again. Uh, I'm gonna enter anyway. Guard grabs you by the collar as you try to get past him and throws you back. He calmly to turn to his post. You are unlikely to enter the city today. They're unlikely to enter the city. Not today. I'm, 
I mean, I think I've only ever heard that song once. It's a pretty cool song. But I don't think that I know the lyrics to it very well, apparently. Alright, so... Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna kill Lubba. And I'm gonna plonk its, like, Lubba heart into the sanctuary to learn some more camo language. Uh, but we're gonna do that next time. So, thanks for doing the thing where you do where you watch my videos and then you sometimes leave comments on them or something, I don't know.